Hey everybody, this is Brian, and this is just a microphone check for the Steel Series Arc 7. Um, just got this bad boy. Uh, it retails for 149. I did not pay that. I'm a cheapskate, and I'm not rich, so I think I paid not even half of that with free shipping. I got a sweet deal on Amazon. And if you've been watching any of my videos for like the last five plus years, I've been using these Razer Man of Wars. I've gone through three of them. Have not had good luck with any of them. Uh, they're amazing for like the first month then they just kind of go downhill real fast. I think the first one, this microphone, like actually fell out, just bloop, gone. Uh, second one, this whole side piece fell off. Third one, this center piece snapped out, like actually fell out. And then on all of them, I get little cracks around these things and I have to glue them together. But I was more worried about like the sound quality and this had one of the best sound qualities at the time. But everybody's telling me, hey, switch over to this bad boy um, or buy the... I think they're called Yeti microphones, and they range in price from uh, probably on par with full retail on this up to very expensive, which I just don't have that kind of money or patience. Um, that being said, just want to see what this sounds like. Um, it's actually very comfortable in case you're thinking about this. This mesh right here is fabric, so it's the middle of summer and I'm not sweating real bad. Like, unfortunately, the man of wars, you wear these for about an hour and you're just dying because they're so uncomfortable. And this also has this strap. It looks like a shadow in the picture, but the strap, first thing I noticed when I put this on is, oh man, that is really comfortable. I mean, I could wear this thing all day. I won't have this amazing haircut that this guy has, but this is comfortable. So I want to see what does it sound like. We've currently, I've got the volume at 150 in the mixer, and it's actually probably about 50% on the actual headset. And I've got the input at 100. So let's put this down to about... 50% testing 1, 2, 3. 100% testing 1, 2, 3. As loud as it'll go. Probably way, way, way too loud. And 125%. And the sweet spot with the Man of War was about 115%. Um, I do have some music going in the background, although it's very, very low. I don't know if this Arctic 7 has this feature, but the Man of War would actually shut off. If it doesn't have any stereo output, it just sh sh shut off. You'd be in the middle of talking and you'd hear beep beep as it powers off. So you'd have to start your whole recording all over again. Got really annoying. Not sure if the, the 7 has that feature or not. I've just gotten used to this. So usually I have Pandora as low as it'll go in the background. Now this next test, we're going to do what's called a leak test. So we're going to blast audio out of this to see if the microphone picks it up. And I have gone into the mixer and just completely cranked this up to 100%. So I'm sure you'll hear it. I'm going to put it as loud as it'll go on the actual physical headset. I've got Jimi Hendrix as low as Pandora will go, and I can barely hear myself talk. And we're just going to crank this. Oh yeah, my poor ears. I'm sure the microphone picked that up. That was loud. So anyways, mic check, 115%. Steel Series Arctic 7. Um, going to go through Audacity, do a noise reduction, upload this to YouTube, and then listen to this on all of my devices and see what I, what I like, what it sounds good on all my devices. Um, drop some feedback below. I've also got a lot of ambient noise because COVID-19 is still like a real thing. So I hear like lawnmowers and my wife's working from home and things like that. So that's it. Talk to you later.